everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to share with you my March setup. It's a little different. I am not using the bookish collection for my March setup. I mean, there might be a few things in here that are from that, but uh, we released a special edition coffee kit, and I thought it would be fun to take our coffee kit and one of our minimalist collection um, planner kits and combine the two and make that my setup for March. So it's all coffee themed and neutrals and I just thought it would be a fun change and a bit of a challenge um, for me to do something a little bit different and kind of take, because the minimalist collection, the pages are are basically just black and gray. There's a little bit of a blush pink on a few of the pages. Um, I thought it would be fun to, to do that because then I could make the pages completely my own. And there was such a fun stamp set in the coffee kit that I really wanted to play with that. And so I'll show you what I did. I had a lot of fun with this. And um, I will, some stuff is from my stash that I, or, or past uh, Coco Daisy kits. I pulled those out as well. I, anything that I kind of had coffee themed that I wanted to use or, <clears throat> excuse me, or was neutral or black and white, I pulled out. I will try to remember where everything is from so that I can tell you where you can find it in your stash as well. So let's get started. I am using this beautiful croc leather um, from Vanderspeck. I don't remember what this color is called. It's kind of a beige. It's just a beautiful neutral. And I thought the, um, the, the kind of sand or tan color went really well with the browns in the coffee kit as well. So I thought it really, really worked well with this. Obviously a black planner, white planner, anything like that would go really well also. So as I mentioned, um, the back, this is a combination of the coffee kit and the minimalist collection. The minimalist collection, you can find it, it's just a staple we have in the Daisy store. It has its own listing in the Daisy store. Um, and there is a main planner kit. There's various sized inserts you can get with it. And then there's also a few extra um, embellishments or bits and pieces like the two bows and the ampersand. Those are extras. The pen came in the kit. And then um, I'll try and point out what is from the coffee kit. So uh, this was just from my stash. That was from a number of months ago. This was uh, from the coffee kit, that large oversized tag. This is just from my stash. That was not in any Coco Daisy kit. And then the pen came from the minimalist main planner kit. And then um, this was from the coffee kit, the chipboard and the cute little, um, the cute little, <laughs> sorry, my mind's going completely blank. Uh, definition. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. The little sloth, sloth with the coffee cup, that was from Treetop Canopy. And I just thought that the teeny bit of green was really, really cute. And of course, him holding the coffee cup. So I put him in here. The notepad is also from the coffee kit. So the inserts are very much similar to the inserts that we have each month. The only difference is they're completely undated. So there's no tab on here to tell you what month it is. I added the but first coffee and then the little coffee cup. So there is a lot of stamping in here. Um, that was how I kind of made my own look for this and how I incorporated um, kind of the feel and the whimsy that I wanted to add to it. So what I did, I used a lot of these stamps from the coffee kit stamp set. You'll see those. I used a little bit here and there from the, um, the March stamp sets. 
from the bookish stamp sets. Not a whole lot, just a teeny bit. And then I went back through, I used a lot of this stamp set. There's a couple of these cute little birds on here, the owls especially, and some of the um, little sayings. This was from the, um, and I can't remember the name of the collection, but it was the one that was about reading and books, and it had the books and the birds. And that was a September a few years back. So that is what I used that stamp set. And then I used, this was from the original Doodles and Dashes. I used that stamp set. This was a promo stamp that we had um, from this last November. And then this is a stamp set that we actually have in stock right now. Um, it's, we have a couple of them that have the um, kind of the, the florals and the twigs and the little branches and the little dandelion and that. So I used that one as well. So this is actually still in stock in the store. And then these are a couple little guys. This one is one of my absolute favorite stamps. That was from a bird set a while back. And this is just um, a little birdie that I've had from my stash. So you see those in there as well. So what I did, um, and this is one thing that you can do if you are using the minimalist collection, is gather some stamps um, that work well together and then just keep repeating them. And then that will give you that cohesive look that you want. This one, I just added the You Can Do It coffee on there. And then this is something fun that I, I have that I sometimes put in my planners. It's a thick acrylic sheet. I have a couple of pictures on here. Um, sometimes I change the pictures out. Sometimes I change the little note cards. Um, this note card actually was from, I believe, the, uh, the bookish collection. That did not come in the coffee kit. This was one from my stash. And again, just a teeny bit of color from the old Doodles and Dashes kit. So that's just a little bit of the patterned paper. This ampersand overlay comes in the Minimalist Main Planner Kit, as do all of the tabs. Those die cuts are all in the tabs. And then you get your striped pages. Now normally your striped pages, um, when you see them, are all the bright colors. Well, obviously, because this is the Minimalist Collection, they are not. So it gives you a lot of space if you wanna do some stamping. The main colors that I used in here um, from the stamp market, I used gravel. From Stamping Up, I used crumb cake, and this is the one that I used um, for a lot of the coffee ring stamps. I thought it was the perfect brown for that. And then, of course, most of them are stamped in black, and that's using the Versafine Onyx Black. This is in the store. You can grab one of those. But to me, that's the perfect stamp ink for a good crisp black. Now, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but I did stamp the date on here using the gravel. It's a very, very light, light gray, but I liked how it was really subtle, so I added those there. And then again, I did some stamping with the little um, branches. I stamped March from this uh, stamp set. And then um, I printed the word photos on all of these just like I normally do. So this is real similar to my normal setup. I didn't deviate from that a whole lot. And then I just kind of stamped around it with some of the other fun uh, coffee stamps. And then I did that on each page, but just a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, Losing my voice. <coughs> I did that just a little bit different though. So I kept the march and the photos and then I changed out the cute little coffee cup character, the saying, and then whatever um, sort of floral that I wanted to add on there. So it gives me plenty of room. I love that each one is similar, but different. And again, that's what's gonna make when you, cause you're basically designing your pages, you're putting the art on your pages and that's what's fun about this too. But if you try to keep it cohesive, so I'm probably gonna say that word a lot through here, but that's how you're gonna keep that design flow and make it not look jumbled. So you can just see, I'll show you what I did on each page. I had a lot of fun with these. And some of these longer ones, it's a, a little side note, some of these longer ones like that 
when they're thinner and longer, you can actually bend them on the acrylic block and shape them a little bit uh, before that you stamp them so you can kind of bend them how you want them. And then uh, the oversized tags are from the coffee kit. This note card is from the coffee kit and that's um, my normal, I'll add my little menu to this, that's the same. This overlay with the coffee ring on it, that is from the coffee kit as well. So I added that there. Um, these days of the week are from the days of the week sticker uh, from the minimalist collection. So you'll see I used those. The what's on the menu, that's just from my stash. And then I added a different um, coffee cup to each. And then I did a ring on each. So you'll see for each one, that's the same. And then I just changed out the, um, the days of the week. And this is where I do my menu planning. And then on these pages, are, I kept them similar in that they have this same leaf on all of them. And then I just kind of switched up and used some of the different coffee uh, stamps, some of the different bird stamps, and I just had a lot of fun with that. Um, used these stickers are from the uh, Minimalist Main Planner Kit. There's a set of those um, stickers in there with the dates. And then my favorite part of winter when it's over, I believe that these are from the bookish collection. <coughs> and then the little mini tabs. So you can see that that's the same. And then this one, I added some of those cute little birds. There's a few little stickers on here. Um, this shipping, these alpha stickers are part of the coffee kit. These are just from my stash. Love that little coffee ring. And then um, again, very similar. I used that kind of in the same spot. So you're keeping things having that similar look, but then I switched out some of the other little guys. These label stickers are from the uh, coffee kit. That one is as well. So you can see how cute the little birds worked with, um, with the coffee kit stamp set as well. And again, just some more stamping and alpha stickers on there. This paper is from the coffee kit and it's the same design that's on the little notepad holder, which I'll show you in a moment. So I used that as one of my little um, divider dashboard pages. I printed out my monthly tasks the die cut and the sticker, those are from the coffee kits as well. I stamped some of those. This one is actually from the February kit. So I pulled that out and used that again. I thought it went really well. And then these, this is actually, I think this is the week's size. It's one of the um, Dory booklets from the Minimalist collection. I tore it apart and I just wanted some sheets to do some note taking on. And so I cut it apart, I punched the holes in it, and then I just added a little bit of stamping to each page. So now I have a whole section um, that I can write longer notes on if I want to. And it was fun to just go through and do all that stamping. If you are if you feel a little uncomfortable with your stamping ability, just practice a ton before you do it. And you can, you'll can you feel a little better um, when you go and you actually put it on the pages. So that you can do a coffee, that's from the coffee kit stamp set. And this is from the Minimalist Collection main planner. That little card comes in there. This little guy is from my stash. So this page I added a lot to. So the calendar in the Minimalist Collection has absolutely nothing on it. So from my stash, I have um, the days of the week, so I stamped those in there, and the dates. And I, again, I did these dates using the, um, the gravel. So they're very faint, which I like because then I can write over them, and they're not taking up all of the space. I added some more of the leaf on here, some more of the birds, um, some a sticker from the um, 
the sticker kit, the coffee, the coffee sticker kit, which was separate. You had to purchase that separate from the coffee kit. So those two items. I added some of the glitter dots. The glitter dots are from the coffee kit as well. And then just added some more stamping. The um, This was from the bookish collection, I believe, the little quote card, and I added that in there. And I think it turned out really, really cute. Some alpha stickers. And then you have your plan forward page. This is something fun that I did, and I posted about this. We've not been able to get the thicker acrylic back in the store. It's just been delayed. They're out of stock and we haven't, so you can see how thick that is. And I do love to use that in my planners. We did find some that's a little bit thinner, still pretty decent in thickness. And I think we may list this in the store as well. Because one of the things that I did in here that I really liked is the, um, we do fulfillment. Um, of product for the Happy Ever Crafter. Um, she does amazing calligraphy, so you can check her out. But one of the things, one of the things in her product line is um, these beautiful rub-ons, and they're all botanicals. And so I thought that that went really, really cute with this collection as well. So I took some of these thinner acrylic sheets, and like I said, I'm gonna list these in the store. And I tried, and it worked out great. I tried, um, um, I did a little experiment. I put the rub-ons on here, and I think it turned out great. And it was not hard at all. It wasn't harder to get them on. I didn't have to press harder. Um, so that's kind of a neat thing. I did that in a couple spots. And speaking of rub-ons, I am ordering some more of these. So a lot of you will see when I do rub-ons, I have this old basic gray tool that's like ancient, but I love it. I've had it for a really long time. They don't make this anymore. And, and in your rub-on um, packages, you get a popsicle stick, which will work fine. But if you wanna go a little bit farther um, and have an actual tool that maybe is a little bit nicer and easier to hold and use and, and press with, I found this Tim Holtz um, version. It's heavy, it's all metal, and um, I think this works really well too. So I'm gonna order some more of these. I wanted to try it out. I'm gonna order some more of these and we'll put these in the store as well. So I know how much you all love your rub-ons and that works really well with them. So the Today's Good Mood is sponsored by coffee. I do not remember if this particular card is from my stash or not. I I think it is. I don't think that that was part of the coffee kit. Um, this paper was part of the coffee kit, as were the little dots. And then what I did for every single one of my pages, and I'll get to that in a minute, I'll show you um, an actual spread of how I did. I did them all the same. My daily pages are stamped all exactly the same. And again, to keep that cohesive look, and um, it just kind of brings that whole design um, through everything, through every single page, without you having to rethink every page each as well. I think it makes more sense to do the same thing. Uh, this note card was part of the coffee kit, as was this paper, and the cute little um, chipboard pieces. Those were from the coffee kit, so that's got my to-do. This um, sticky notepad is from my stash, and the card, this card is from my stash as well. That is from an older kit, but I just did a little stamping. There's a few little stickers on there, added that. This paper is from the Minimalist um, Planner Kit. So I just made that little tag. Um, this is actually from my stash as well, as is this paper. I believe this paper is from the Afternoon Tea Collection, but I thought it went really well. And then um, another button that I had, this one, I'm just waiting to see if my coffee chooses to use its powers for good or evil today is from the coffee kit. And then I went through and I just kind of looked for some stickers that I thought might um, add a little pop of color each day if I wanted to use them. And these are from, I believe it was two Januaries ago. It was from that, uh, the name of the, the collection escapes me at the moment, but I thought that they would look cute. They would work well with um, the colors. 
here is another piece of that um, thicker, this is the thicker um, acrylic. And I did some more rub-ons. A couple of these rub-ons are from February and one of them is from January. So I just went through my rub-on stash and I added that to those and that is actually my bookmark. So my bookmark is a clear acrylic this month. The little um, clip is from my stash as well. All right, so let's look at what the layout will be. So the layout each day is gonna have the coffee cup and then you can do a coffee over here as well as I did two of the branches, this little bird, and then drink your coffee, it's chaos out there. So every single day has that same, I mean, as well as I could place it. Some of them are off a little bit, some are a little different, but it's basically the same. So that is for every single day. And then I had another overlay and another piece of the paper, and I use that for my dashboard. This clip is actually from the Bookish Collection, but it has the cute little coffee cup on it. So that's one of my divider pages. This one is, um, I believe, from my stash as well. This um, little coffee cup, that's from my stash. This was a pocket card that was, or a note card that was in the coffee kit. I just cut that out of the center and put it on this pattern paper. This pattern paper is part of the coffee kit. The same with these as well. Both of those are from the coffee kit. I just layered those. And then this is another one of those where I have the thinner acrylic overlay and then I use some more of the botanical rub-ons from the Happy Ever Crafter. And then I grabbed some of, we also have in the store, in the Daisy store, we have just wonderful, it's the same Coco Daisy weight paper with just a grid on it. So you can do whatever you want with this. And we have that in the A5 and the classic vertical insert sizes, which means you can get those and cut them down. They'll fit just any size that you want. So I have those in there. I have my little clip from the last um, Doodles and Dashes collection. And then I have this pen. This is the secret ingredient is always love. And that was from the Farmer's Market kit, I think is what it was called. And that was a number of years ago. But the black and white, I really liked that with it. And then I'm using, this pouch is actually from the Bookish collection. On the one side, it has the book with the be patient with yourself, but then on this side, it has the I just wanna drink coffee, create stuff and sleep. And then I also have the little notepad holder and I, I had an extra notepad and another pen from my stash. And this is the notepad holder is part of the coffee kit as well. So that is super, super cute, super neutral. So you can use this all the time. You can put that in the pouch, you can put it in your purse. It is great for taking notes and making lists and all that. So that is a look at my setup this month using a combination of the coffee kit and the minimalist collection. If you have any questions, make sure you put it below. I know that this is not um, the normal collection, so there might be some stuff in here that you have questions about. Um, please go ahead and post those questions below. I am happy to answer them. And again, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Um, that helps us a ton, so make sure you do that. And then I will see you next month when I do the April kit.